Welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Today we're going to convert a five-stage RO system to a six-stage RO system. What's the difference? The six-stage is a relatively new addition. It's a filter that actually adds back into the water calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, other minerals to enhance the flavor of the water and for health benefits. This is what the sixth stage looks like. It's a true filter that's full of these beads that when water, the water is passing through it, it allows the, that, uh, those minerals to go into the water and into your drinking water. So let's take a look at a schematic to see what we're going to do. So this is a five stage system. Water comes in here, sediment filter, the activated carbon filter, it's another charcoal filter. It goes into this valve through the membrane, and which, which is what's filtering the water. Some of the discarded water is then drained and goes into the drainage system. And then the purified water comes and either goes into the storage tank for storage or when it's used, goes through the fifth activated carbon filter into the faucet. If we add the sixth stage to this, this AC is a T33 filter. Basically, it goes, instead of going right to the faucet, it goes through the, the mineral filter into the faucet. So we're going to put this in line between the T33 and the faucet. So these are the tools that you're going to need. We're going to need a bucket. We're going to need the filter. We're going to need some connections, some Teflon tape, a tubing cutter and some tubing, also a wrench like this to loosen up the connections. When we look at the types of connections on this filter, they're threaded, so we need to add this type of a threaded connection, not the quick fit connection, which is easier and sometimes better, but that's the, what we've got, so we're going to use some of that Teflon tape for this. So this is my RO system under the sink. First three are here. This is the fourth or the membrane and then the fifth. We're going to disconnect the fifth filter here, run that into the sixth, and then the sixth exits this tube, which goes to the faucet. First thing to do is turn off the water, which we're going to do to the tank to the tank, which is the, the storage tank, and also from the source. Okay, I've turned off the water. There should be just a little bit coming out here, not much. Yep, that's good. And now we're going to disconnect from here the, um, the fifth stage that goes into the sixth stage. I took I took the RO system out so it'll be easier to see. First thing we're going to do is disconnect this. And this is what's going to go into the very end of the sixth stage. We'll take this out. Going to put some Teflon tape around the connections. This is going to be the water in. There you go, that. And then the one we just took out, we'll put some Teflon tape on it. And this will be the water leaving the RO and again you can tell because of the flow in out so the in I have a quick connect the, the out I have this the standard connection which is already set up with the tubing that goes to the faucet all right that's set up line these up so they're both on the same plane. And then I scavenged a couple of these connectors 
from a previous RO system. Let's see if they work. So my idea was I was going to connect them to here and then put that RO, can, RO six stage right there. So that's a pretty good fit. Now let's put the quick connect here. Let's put some Teflon tape and we'll attach that. Quick comment, you always want to wrap the Teflon tape in the direction that you're going to be tightening this. So if we're going to be tightening it like this, you want to wrap it the same way. So down here we're going to thread that in. There it goes. So now we need a piece of tubing from here to here. We'll just move it this way. It's a small, short piece of tubing. And then we're going to connect this back to our water line that goes to the faucet. And this project's almost done because it's pretty simple. So we, we're just going to get a, we just need a, a small piece of tubing from here to here. So we just need a short piece of tubing from here to here. We use our tubing cutter. You can see where we need it, the end right about there. That's that. I think we're done. We're going to put, turn the water on now and be sure we don't have any leaks. All right, I turned the water back on from the reserve tank and the main flow and there's nothing going through here. So we're going to fire up the faucet and what we're going to see is water going through that final stage. And that was the air going through here this way and now it's coming out to the faucet with that calcium, magnesium, potassium, sodium, the other minerals. Well, that completed that. We now have our sixth stage, the filter that adds calcium, magnesium, and other minerals back into the water put in. And now we've converted a five to a six stage reverse osmosis filter. So thanks for watching. Please click thumbs like if this was helpful. Consider subscribing. Thank you.